Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today, we're going to talk about desktop notifications in Omnichannel. So those are the notifications that pop up on the right bottom of the screen in Windows. So typically, if you're an agent, you would log into the Omnichannel for Customer Service application, which is a web app. And when you get a notification coming in from a customer, that's going to display in the top right of the screen. Okay. And we've seen that before. We, will, we can show that again, but that's where it's going to be displayed. Now, the problem is, what if you're an agent and you are browsing in another tab in your browser, for example, so that the Omnichannel for Customer Service tab is not the one that has the focus when you're working, right? So that's a pretty common situation. The agent may want to look up something in another browser or another tab, and so the focus goes away. And then if a new call comes in, a new chat comes in, the agent's not going to know that there is this notification unless they click into the browser tab and then they'll see it, right? So what the product group has done at Microsoft is they've done a, 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 they've added a cool feature where if you enable this, it will display a Windows notification in the bottom right of the screen as well. So agents don't have to have the Omnichannel for Customer Service app on the screen at all times. Okay, so let's look at how we can set this up. So I'm in the Omnichannel administration app at the moment, and the place you want to go to is notifications. So we're going to scroll down here and we can see the agent experience, and we're going to click on notifications here. And then we can see these notifications that are already here out of the box. So we have, for example, a chat notification that's incoming, that's unauthenticated default. So that's the second one on the screen here. So this one's probably a pretty common one. So if you're, uh, if you have a a website that and the web, website's running a chat widget, and this is the example that we've gone through previously, and the your customers are not authenticated customers, so they're anonymous customers. They come in, they want to ask a question on your website, and they initiate a chat, and that chat comes through as unauthenticated. That's what would would start here, okay? So you can link these up uh, to uh, various different work streams in your setup and the chats. And this is one of the ones that would run in that scenario. And you can see here, it says this is a system notification template and can't be edited. Okay, so we're gonna go and create a new template here and we'll be using that template to uh, show you how this works, okay? But the main thing to note here is show desktop notifications down here, okay? So it's set to never, and we can also set it to when app is in the background. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, okay? So let's go ahead and create a new one. So I'm gonna click on new up here and let's give this a name and I'm gonna call this uh, background notifications and we give it a unique name, the N for background notifications. Uh, you can give this a title here as well just going to go and copy the name and put that into the title field. And then we have some other settings down here. We have the icon. We have show timeout. Uh, the timeout's 120 seconds. So when those calls come in, when those chats come in, it's going to show that countdown field. We also have auto assign work items. Uh, we'll keep that at no. We have the accept button text here. We'll leave that as the default. We will show a reject button and keep the text there at the same. And show desktop notifications. We're going to set this to when app is in background. All right. So let's go ahead and save this. And we can also add notification fields if we want. That's a whole other thing that we'll talk about another time. Okay. So now the thing we want to do is tie this to the work stream associated with our chat. So let's go over to work streams here. And we will tie it to the live chat work stream because we know that this is the one that's tied to our chat. And let's go over to templates. And we can see here that the template for notifications, right? So we have several different notifications here and the types of templates that we can apply to them. And we can see that an incoming unauthenticated chat is using this out of the box template that we saw, right? So we wanna change this one to use our new one. And the new one here is background notifications. So we're gonna click on that. We're gonna click save. 
and we're just going to wait for that chat uh, change to come through. So back over here, I have the agent applications. And if I refresh this, you'll see that there's this new pop-up that occurs here. So it says show notifications and we want to allow this. Okay. So let's click allow. And this agent is now signing in to the Dynamics uh, customer service app. And what we want to do now is, so I have a few of these open. Uh, three agents are open at the moment in my setup. So I'm just going to go through and send a regular chat. And I'm going to go here and click to initiate the chat. Here's a notification in the bottom right here. Let's go ahead and click accept. And what we're going to see here is we're going to be taken directly over to the tab that was not in focus for this agent, right? So we can see here that it's connecting to the chat. I haven't done anything. All I did was click accept on that notification and it's brought me right to where I need to be to interact with the customer. So very cool functionality. Hope you guys enjoyed. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.